We're being asked to find the volume of the solid that we get when we take this region and we rotate it about the line y equals 4. So let's do a preliminary sketch over here on the left. So y equals x looks like this. So that's y equals x. And then y equals 3 is right here. So that's y equals 3. And x equals 0 is this vertical line right here. It's the y-axis. So we care about this piece here. And we're spinning it about y equals 4. So about this dotted line up here. Let's go ahead and redo our picture over here on the right and make it a little bit bigger. So there's y and there's x. So that's the x-axis and this here is the y-axis. And let's just go ahead and draw the picture we care about. So just this piece here. So this is the line y equals x. And this is the line y equals 3. So this is 3. And this is the region we care about here. And since this is 3 and this is the line y equals x, so when x is 3, so is y. So this is also 3. And we're spinning it about 4. So I'm not going to draw this to scale, but I'll put the 4 up here. So we have some distance between the 3 and the 4. And so this is where we're spinning our region. So let's go ahead and use the disk method for this video. And whenever you're using the disk method, your rectangles always have to be perpendicular to the axis of revolution. So when we draw the rectangle, there's only one way to draw it. So it looks like that. Now we have to go ahead and label big R of Y and little r of Y. So big R of Y is the full distance from the far end of the rectangle to the axis. Okay, People call it the outer radius. So it's the full distance. So that's big R of X. I might have said big R of Y. That's, that's wrong. So big R of X. By the way, the reason it's a function of X is because we have a vertical rectangle. So we have functions of X. If we have horizontal rectangles, we have functions of Y. Okay, we've got big R of X, now we need little r of X. That's little r of X. It's the distance from the closer end of the rectangle to the axis. All right, let's go ahead and try to find big R first. So this distance here is big R. This distance here is the line Y equals X. So this distance here is X. This big distance here is four. So big R, big R of X. If you take 4 and you subtract X, you get big R of X. Again, if you take 4, this distance here, and you subtract X, you get big R of X. So it's equal to 4 minus X. Little r of X is this distance here, which is just 1. But you could think of it as 4 minus 3 to overcomplicate things. So 4 minus 3 is 1, but it's obviously 1 because no matter where you draw the rectangle, this distance here is 1. So little r of x is equal to 1. Now we can go ahead and draw, or rather write the integral for the volume. So we have a pi. And we're integrating with respect to x. So we're going from 0 to 3. So 0 to 3. And we take the big R and we square it. So it's 4 minus x, quantity squared. And we subtract, and we take the 1, and we square it. And then we have a dx here. And this is equal to 18 pi via magical steps. So the hard part is setting it up. So I've just been um, just setting them up in these problems. So I hope this video made sense.